If I could show you guys what your damn future would look like if you pull your head out of your ass, you would if I could show you financially what freedom really looked like, really looked like, if you would consciously pay attention tomorrow and tonight when I'm talking to you and every day for the rest of your life to realize that the fact that you woke up, you're blessed and you need to be grateful. So I read a book, okay, I read a book and I want you guys to go read it. It's a one minute read. So it's super simple. Some of you guys are like, oh, he's gonna give us a book. It's a book and it says, if I only knew. It's a book and it said, if I only knew. And it was wrote by a mother and what happened? You know the book. It, it'll make me tear up just telling you guys about it. She thought she had forever with her kid. She thought she did. She was a book writer. Her son got on a bicycle to ride two blocks over to go to soccer practice never came home, got killed by a car. Think about it. Everybody thinks they got all the time in the world. And I look into your eyes and I see you guys abusing time. I see you guys just going through the motions. You're here, you're here to train. I know what you want. You want a successful life, but you're not intentionally paying attention. You're not consciously listening that what I'm saying right now is you're gonna run out of time and you're gonna wish you had more and you screwed a lot of it off. That mom, she's never gonna see her boy again until she goes to heaven. And the book is If I Only Knew. <laughs> Each page, it talks about if I only knew this. If I only knew this. You know, if you only knew that the last time, this was gonna be the last time that you know you would see your wife or your husband what would it be like if it was the last time you know if it was the last time last kiss you were going to give the person you love the very last one if you only knew if you really knew what was going to happen what would that be like i live a magical life i really do you know why because i choose to live it there was a time where i had a victim mentality right there was a time that I didn't believe in myself. There was a time I was in a dark place and I made excuses. There was a time that I really didn't take care of myself and I didn't love myself like I should. There was a time that there was people that supported me, right? And I treated those people like Shit. And then the people who didn't support me, I kissed their ass because I wanted to be accepted. All of those things happened because I was just letting time go by. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna tell you this, life is real and it's actually really cool. And one of the things that you guys can all have is every single thing that you want in your life and more. You can have it, I swear. But you gotta think about this, if I only knew, all right? And I'm gonna tell you guys this right now. If I could show you guys what your damn future would look like if you pull your head out of your ass, you would If I could show you financially what freedom really looked like, really looked like, if you would consciously pay attention tomorrow and tonight when I'm talking to you and every day for the rest of your life to realize that the fact that you woke up, you're blessed and you need to be grateful. I mean it. And if you can't be blessed and grateful in the morning right when you wake up, well, how the hell are you gonna go break every record in the world and crush every, everything that, you, that comes in your way? How's it gonna happen? I wanna tell you guys something real quick, right? Is that the truth? So many people know what to do, but don't do what they know. Would you agree? I want you to think about it tonight. If you knew you only had a week left, a day left, what would it be like? If you knew you still had to go to work, right? How hard would you work? If you knew you, you know, like you had the opportunity just for X amount of time to leave your fingerprint, would you leave it? You guys have the ability to change millions of people's lives. I swear on my life. And I need you to do it. My goal is this. I was a guy that came from nothing. If you don't know my story, right? Go on YouTube and watch the podcast. I'll, it'll show you. Came from nothing, literally um, nothing. Got in the car business, best thing in the world that ever happened. Guys, I don't care if you stay in the car business till you die. What I care about is you're gonna be in sales till you die. Because if you like sales, you'll have freedom and you'll have plenty of money. And you guys need a lot of money in this life, right? But also you need to understand this. The better you are at sales, influencing, persuading, closing, and negotiating, the more that you can have the things that you want that most people can't have. What do you have to be in order to get that? You have to be a one percenter. One percenter. What do one percenters do? What the 99 percent don't do? Let me explain that. We got a hundred people in the room. That means you are the one out of the 100 in the room. I wish everybody could be a one percenter in the room. It's possible, but it is so hard. But only the hard stuff pays, right? Some of you guys, when stuff gets hard, you know what you do? You stop. I see some of you guys that should be so far by now, but you keep quitting. 
because you don't respect time. Only for one reason, you don't respect time. I want everybody to start realizing that, look, from now until the end of the year, from now, this rest of the month we have in November, it's everything to us. It's our entire life. Stop taking the people who are supporting you for granted. Stay close to the people who want to see you win, okay? Stay close to them. And by the way, never not believe in yourself again. Never, never. It's a waste of time. What value do you get out of doubting yourself? What value? Somebody tell me. What value do you get out of having a bad mood? Zero. What value do you get out of having a conversation with something that doesn't do anything for your life? Zero. If you're doing something for their life, that's value. The idea of it is you got to go through and realize what it is that you're doing right now that needs to be cut out so we can start doing the productive things that we need to be doing that'll get you 10 times farther, 10 times faster. Do you guys believe in timing? I'm going to tell you this right now. Everybody in this world has opted out of winning. They've opted out. You know what that means? Are they in here training? No. You know what they've done? If they've opted out of winning, what did they do? They opted into losing. It's never been easier to be great. Guys, I've grown my company so fast because I have nobody to compete with. You guys have nobody to compete with. Who are you competing with? I mean, really, who are you competing with? That's it. I mean, people that are out there who are just showing up to work and that are working hard. I can beat that guy every day. Number one, it should be a common deal that you work hard. That's just what great people do. They work hard. They're 60 minutes in an hour. How you work 60 minutes in that hour is who you are. Some of you guys are working 12 hours a day where you can work seven or, or three and get more than 12 hours than you're given now. Start actually listening to the time you have and really giving the time. Success leaves clues. And if you only knew you're only gonna get one more month, one more day, what would it be like? Would it be a little bit more extreme? Would you be a little bit more intensely focused? I would and I am. We can all die out here today. Everybody would agree, right? Does everybody have an expiration date on them? Yeah, and by the way, I don't want this to be a negative meeting. You know what I want it to be? I want it to be something where you guys really wake up.